Today on Every Burger in Vegas, we're going to Blacktown. Black Tap has locations in a few major cities. They're known mostly for crazy shakes, which are these out of control milkshakes. But we don't drink milkshakes on this channel. We're a burger channel. It's good. They do say craft burgers. So if we're trying every burger in Vegas, I knew we had to come here. I've been walking by this place too many times to not stop by. The wait to get in is about 30 minutes, even though it looks like there's only one person in front of us. There's no way to make reservations here. So what's your time worth, huh? It's gonna depend on how good this burger is. Look at the vibe in here. This is, this place is beautiful. This is one of the first spots we came to where they actually have something going on inside. This looks like a great date spot. It looks like a great hang spot, but really more of like a, yeah, going on a Tinder date, first Tinder date. This would be a place to go. I'm gonna probably get the all-American, just prime burger, American cheese, special sauce. They also have a Kobe Steakhouse burger with Wagyu beef, but I'm not gonna get that because Wagyu beef as a hamburger, and again, I'm not, I'm not a burger expert, I'm just a guy who's watched a lot of YouTube videos, but Wagyu beef is all about the marbling on the inside. So when you grind that up and you balance it out to be 80-20, it's just the same eating a Wagyu beef hamburger as it is to eat a regular hamburger. So it's not actually worth eating Wagyu hamburgers. Wu-Tang is forever. <laughs> we have to order a crazy shake. Just for the content. I know this is every burger in Vegas, but this place is known for the shakes. I see this bar here, so we're gonna get a milkshake and we'll see how it is too. But just remember, this is every burger in Vegas, all right? It's not every milkshake in Vegas. So don't expect me to be getting a milkshake every time. But if you want me to get a milkshake every time, let me know down below. We're not gonna get a milkshake every time. <laughs> Can I get the All-American burger? How do you wanna cook? Medium rare. Yeah, that's great. $15 for a milkshake. The sacrifices I make for you guys. I only want to eat burgers, all right? I only want burgers. So this, this is the Bam Bam Shake, a Fruity Pebble Shake. We've got a vanilla frosted rim with Fruity Pebbles topped with a Fruity Pebbles Rice Krispie Treat, strawberry pop tart, Laffy Taffy, whipped cream, and a cherry. Mm -hmm. Is the straw this, <laughs> this thing? This is a, some kind of stick? Or is there no straw? There's gotta be a straw, right? Or the, this is a straw right here. Mm, it's good. It's about to collapse. It's good. It tastes like Fruity Pebbles, like the cereal. Mm, would definitely recommend it. It hits only like sugar can. I'm not gonna drink too much more though because this is a gift for Tony, the cameraman. Tony, here is your shake. Enjoy. <laughs> it's falling apart. This is the All-American Burger from Black Tap. Let's move some of these fries out of the way. They have the vegetables on the side. I will put them on top of the burger. Try to get those fries out of the way. You know we don't eat fries on this channel, or burgers only. And apparently, shakes today. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. It's a good burger. They have a whole pickle on the top, and it changes the, the entire vibe. It's very pickly. Let me try a bite without the pickle. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they say prime beef, they mean it. This tastes like it was a high quality steak that was ground up. You've got the very clean, meaty flavor. There's nothing weird, there's no soap taste, there's nothing strange to throw you off. Now, in order to truly review it though, you know what we're gonna have to do. Let's tear this baby apart. Let me jump in, Let's start with the bun. Might be a brioche bun, just a normal burger bun, white bun. And it adds the Thousand Island dressing on top, which adds a really nice sweetness to this whole thing. And as I'm tasting it now, there's even a pepperiness. It tastes like pepper, almost a little bit of spice, but like a one out of 10, super, super mild that I didn't even taste when I ate the burger, only when I'm eating the sauce myself. 
it's good. The bun itself, it's thick. It's it tastes like an artisan bun. High quality. It's a high quality bun. You can see we have a fry embedded in the bun too. Added flavor. The lettuce. You can see this is fresh lettuce. Mm, it's fresh. It's clean. Tastes good. The pickle. This pickle reminds me of what you get at a New York deli. Just one of those pickles that was in a barrel, like salty, not really sour, just more salty than sour. Adds a lot of flavor. Tomato, tastes like it might be an heirloom or organic tomato, really, really good. Cheese, you try some of this cheese without the meat. So that's American cheese, just a normal craft type of American cheese. And then we get to the meat. And you can see here, when they say medium rare, they really mean rare. This is actually, undercooked but they did it on purpose they didn't overcook this meat and you can see it's got a really nice pink color to it and it's really well ground so let's try it let's see one word to describe this is meaty it tastes like you're eating a high quality new york strip steak but it's got the juiciness of a hamburger not too salty there's no crazy seasonings in it there's no italian seasoning or anything it's just a little bit of salt and that's the burger it's great it's great my, my rating on this burger is nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. This is the first high quality burger we've had on every burger in Vegas. I love this burger. Highly recommend. Final thoughts, Black Tap, great date spot, cool vibes, delicious shakes. The burgers, some of the highest quality burgers in Las Vegas. The price gonna be about 30 bucks a person, a little on the high side, but you're in Vegas, you're living it up. I'd come to Black Tap, highly recommend. Good burger spot. You got the every burger in Vegas seal of approval. Let's roll into the price. I had one burger, one shake, after tax $35.76. $7 tip on that, 20% tip, $42.76 for one burger and one shake. You tell me if you think that's a good deal. I think it's okay. It's not something I would eat every day, but I would come back here. So that means something. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe down below because we are eating every burger in Las Vegas. If that sounds interesting, Smash that like button. YouTube algorithm loves the likes. Please like this video so that we can fly to the top of the charts, all right? And subscribe again because every burger in Vegas is a journey that we're all going on together. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what burger should we try next. And also, if you've had Black Tap, leave a comment down below. What do you think? Am I right? Is this the one of the best burgers in Vegas? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman. I just can't believe I actually finally liked a burger. This is how everyone knows they're getting good stuff. We're only really reviewing them as honestly as possible. I gave you guys a nine out of 10. This is like the best burger oh, we've had really? so far. Yeah, awesome. this was a great experience. That's what you get on every burger in Vegas. If a burger is bad, I'm gonna tell you it's bad. And then when we finally get a good one, it's like hitting the jackpot at the casino. You know, <laughs> finally got a good burger in Vegas.